Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It is Wednesday, January 22nd. And next week is, uh, for many schools, National Lutheran Schools Week. Some schools mm. celebrate it at other times throughout the year as well. Uh, many will be celebrating it. And we will be observing National Lutheran Schools Week next week as well. Yes, we will. Many Lutheran schools coming here to uh, the International Center. So we'll visit with students throughout the week and share those stories with you after, really the day after they visit, so that we have a chance to record with them. Because yeah. otherwise, if we try to get them in the studio right before they go to chapel, it's a little too chaotic. It gets a little complicated. Well, and they get to sing in chapel, too, yeah, absolutely. Which, is, so, which is really fun. So you want to listen to chapel next week. Well, you want to listen to chapel all the time, but you want to listen to chapel <laughs> next week. Uh, a lot of Lutheran students from the area will be singing in yeah. chapel. Yeah. It's always really fun. And I think Thursday, there are like multiple choirs. One day next week, there are multiple choirs singing in chapel. Yes, so, the American Contrary so it's is actually part of that. A big Busy, busy week. Yeah. Uh, speaking of busy week, many Lutheran schools preparing for uh, the upcoming open house. Some of them having it this weekend or over the over the, the next few weekends uh, have open houses and excited to uh, to celebrate Lutheran schools. With us today, Mrs. Linda Dane, Lutheran educator at St. Mark's Lutheran Church and School in Eureka, Missouri. Good morning, Mrs. Dane. Good morning. So glad to have you here today. And uh, Full disclosure, this also <laughs> happens to be uh, where my son goes to school. It's not quite yet in Mrs. Dane's class. But yet. he is in my faith family. That's true. That's yes. true. So you do have my son in I one do. of your groups. Uh, okay, so now that you mentioned faith families, we have to explain what is a faith family at St. Mark's. A faith family at St. Mark's, we start with the three-year-olds all the way up through eighth grade. And then um, on Wednesday mornings, we have them sit and chapel together with one of one of the teachers is also like over them. And then we also do um, different activities throughout the year. Some we like during Thanksgiving, we had our <laughs> little uh, Thanksgiving turkey thing, and we just do different theme days. And I forgot what the last one that we did was. Oh, we actually got them together so that they could make manger scenes and things like that. Oh. So, and they walked to Bethlehem like the wise men and all that. It was very fun. I had a faith family when I was in grade school. Did I had a you? Lutheran school. Yeah. This is the whole intergenerational approach, which mm -hmm. I love. That's I really love. cool. That's I, one of my favorite memories from grade school, really? actually. Yeah. <laughs> I love when I get to, and I should be there. I think I'll get to be there for chapel next week because it was uh, pancakes with parents and then chapel. <gasps> pancakes next with week. parents. Pancakes yes. with parents. And it's yes. not just pancakes, it's actually Chris, the pancake guy. So he actually throws the pancakes to you, so you have to catch them. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Throws them to you or at you? <laughs> that will be... Depends on your attitude depends. that day. It depends. <laughs> to you, right? And I think we get tang with it. Tang. Oh, man. Tang. That's a blast from yes. the past. <laughs> oh, so I, I love the, 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 the faith groups, the faith families, because I, I love seeing the kids of all ages really interacting. And, and, and I love seeing the, the older students uh, encouraging the younger students uh, in, in chapel and helping them out. Uh, I, I just love seeing that. My son was really excited about the Thanksgiving feast, which is really funny because he doesn't like turkey. He didn't. But he sat food. there with his lunch. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> his packed lunch. <laughs> He's that is fantastic. I'm not a huge turkey fan either, so the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> nope. So why, Linda, why did you become a Lutheran educator? Why did you want to be, why did you become a Lutheran teacher? Well, I kind of came a, a different way than most people. I actually, um, this is my second career. I actually was an accountant beforehand, but I was teaching Sunday school in a Lutheran school, and I really felt God calling me to make this my uh, vocation. And so I actually, while I was working full time, went back and got my teaching degree. And so I really love teaching the children. Um, I love that I'm able to help them grow academically and socially, but I also get to work with them spiritually and let them grow spiritually all day long. And I think that that's what's really cool about being in a Lutheran school. Do you have a story of a, a family or a student uh, where you've seen the, the Lutheran school uh, at atmosphere make a difference for that family well i really have a lot you know, was, <laughs> there's there's so many but the one that i i thought of um that that really kind of stuck to my heart was that we had a, a boy who came and his mom was homeschooling him and then the mom heard from a co-worker who had gone through lutheran schools that maybe she should look into um a lutheran school so she came and she visited and then he enrolled and then um, they weren't Christian, but then right after he enrolled and, and got assimilated, they had a really tragic thing happen in their, in their family. 
But what happened was she saw how the congregation and the school came around that family, and now she is actually very, very assimilated into the school and congregation. So just to watch how we really can make a difference in someone's faith life and to be able to be there as a family for them. Mm-hmm. To support them with, uh, with that love, that care, that mercy, yes. and, and, and most importantly, the Word of God. So why are, from your perspective, not only as a, not only as an educator, but you're also a parent too. <laughs> I am a parent. Uh, so why are Lutheran schools important today? Well, I think that um, the reason that Lutheran schools are important is because we get to share the gospel with students every day. Uh, people who are um, of the faith, they get to hear it and they get to grow in their faith. Then there are people that we have that aren't there for that reason, but we still get to do that. And we're with them seven hours a day, five mm-hmm. days a week. And so to make a difference into that child's life and for him to hear the got him or her hear the gospel and then also the way that that impacts their family because they go home and they sing and they tell stories and all those kinds of things. And um, the other thing is, is that right now um, the world, the values are changing and our values always stand firm into what God says. And so um, there's always that, that we know that it's always going to be the same. In a, in a world that, that always seems to be, as you said, values are changing, always pointing to something else other than the truth, uh, to have uh, a school that, uh, as a parent, I can't say enough good things about having, knowing what my son is learning, that, that what he's learning in school is always pointing him to the word of God and is teaching him the, the word of God. Right. Uh, and it, and it's really nice because we, we don't just have it in religion class. Right. We mm-hmm. have it all day long when we talk about science, when we talk about social studies, when we talk about anything, you mm-hmm. know, we always can point back to that truth. Mm-hmm. Well, and interactions between children too, when there's arguments or when you're, when you have to deal with that in a personal relationship too, the, you just deal with it in a different way when you're in that setting in a Christian school. Right. Because like a lot of times where people, you know, they'll get into an argument or something and then they'll say, um, okay, you need to apologize. And they go, I'm sorry. And then the other person says, that's okay. And I was like, no, it's not okay. <laughs> so we really work with them to talk about forgiveness and I forgive you. And, and it's just a great forgiving community knowing mm-hmm. that we're not perfect. We're all sinners. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus words, even on the playground. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's sometimes the more the most important place that they need to be Social spoken. Skills. Right. Need to be spoken is, is God's word there. Um, so th- National Lutheran Schools Week coming up for many schools next week. Some celebrated throughout the year at other times as well. Uh, but many of the schools in the area are going to be uh, in the St. Louis area and have an open house. St. Mark's is one of those. Absolutely. Uh, now, tell us how, first of all, how are you inviting people to the open house? I, I love the story <laughs> of how you're inviting people in the community to the open house. Oh, well, it's really not to the open house, but, oh. they, could, but they can always come. You uh-huh. know, we always have, you know campus tours, personal campus tours. So this is actually the day after the open house, but we wanted to do something where we could actually get out into the community and just um, welcome them, let them celebrate with us. And so we are going to Quick Trip in Eureka on Monday morning from six until eight. And we are doing what we call cards with coffee. And um, what we're doing is we're gonna be there and we're gonna hand out um, gift cards for them to go and get their coffee. We'll also be handing out some stress balls and some popcorn and then rory our mascot will be there as well and so he's always a good time so we're very excited about having this opportunity we've never done it before but i think it'll be kind of fun to be able to be out there and say hey come celebrate with us that's cool so when you're at the gas station in the morning and there's a lion out front (laughs) you'll know why that might get a little attention Maybe. Right. Yeah. But he, he's a very nice lion. Yes. <laughs> very nice. So what will happen at this open house uh, for in the St. Mark's community? So our open house, uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be allowing people to go um, come visit and then we will tell them about the school. We'll take them around and we'll answer any questions that they have. And then we'll also encourage them that they should come back when the school is really open and and moving so you can actually get a real feel for for what the school is like. And then we also encourage them to have their child shadow for a day Mm -hmm. so that they can also experience what it's like to be in that environment. And usually when we have people shadowed, they are so excited when they leave there. And and it's it's just a neat way to be able to to see what really makes St. Mark's tick. 
And also with us in studio today, Brenda Kimberlin, Lutheran Elementary School Association. Brenda, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. How many schools make up Lutheran Elementary School Association here in St. Louis? We have 33 schools. Uh, and of course, that includes our three high schools, Lutheran North, Lutheran South, Lutheran High School, St. Charles. So um, we're just so excited when it gets to this time of year. I think Linda can agree because this is sort of the the week that you can just full out celebrate mm-hmm. all of the wonderful things about your school. Uh, and and it's really festive when you go through a school building this week. So it's fun to mm-hmm. be able to see that at the beginning of the week in open house uh, and see what they're getting ready for service projects, lots of fun things for the kids to really enjoy themselves. Um, We have 19 schools who are participating in our all schools open house event. And uh, one thing I'd love to say to a parent would would be it's hard to explain what feels special about a Lutheran school until you walk through that door. And and my position, I get the benefit of 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 visiting every school at some point, you you know, and uh, and and every single school, I get that same feeling when I walk in and I see that office and you see the presence of of Christ and 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 the faith that is just present. It's you just it's just it's hard to explain, but it's just warm or or it's fun to to be there when kids are showing up a couple of years ago we were there when kids were pouring in for the day and Mm -hmm. it just everybody looks happy to be there and of course you know it's it's not that everything is always wonderful everywhere but i don't know there's just a, a a feeling you get um that's hard to explain you have to experience it in person and our open houses really give you a, a sense of that. And then also, if you can't make that open house date, uh, many of our schools have alternative dates and alternative events. A lot of schools will do fun kindergarten previews and roundups and, and fun things. Um, and our schools, a tour at your convenience, um, a great option and something that's always available. Um, there, are, There's always a parent or an admissions person who would love to show you around, as Linda said, or have you come back and experience a day. We have just a few seconds left. Where can we find info on uh, Lutheran schools in the St. Louis area? We have a complete directory on our website uh, at lisastl.org. Uh, just scroll on down sort of to the news section and you can click on that and it'll take you to a full list of our schools with links to every school that we represent and a phone number so that you can call for a tour if you can't make that open house date. Um, our high schools are doing a lot of fun things to Lutheran North, Lutheran South, doing fun things like mixers, academic fairs. Uh, so a lot of things where you can get a real sense of how the school operates um, without maybe a formal tour situation. So there's tons of options and uh and, you know, we love visitors at our schools. So so even if your child is young or you're maybe not looking particularly right now, um, just come by. Thank you so much, Brenda, for being here today. Thank you, Linda, for being our guest on the Coffee awesome. Hour. Happy National Lutheran Schools Week. Thanks for joining us for the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Christ for you anytime, anywhere. Don't know.